Kid Hall. Yoon Kid Hall. Hello and welcome to Young in Heart. Our story today is thinking about Paul and where he went on his travels next. So he went from Paphos to Perga and then Pisidian. And when he got there, he went to the synagogue. And the Jewish leaders were reading passages and he listened carefully with the others that were there. And then the Jewish leaders asked Paul if he wanted to say anything encouraging to the believers there. So he stood up and told them all about the Jewish history relating what they just heard all the way through to Jesus and who Jesus was for them. This is what he shared. The people were in Egypt as slaves, but God rescued them through Moses and did lots of amazing miracles. They spent time in the desert and they spent 40 years in the desert as they moved from Egypt to their new home called Canaan. God gave them Canaan through lots of amazing battles. As they lived in Canaan, the people wanted to know what to do. So God gave them judges to protect and guide them to hear what God wanted them to do. But the people weren't happy with judges and they wanted a king like other countries had. So God gave them King Saul. Then the next king was King David. King David loved God and wanted to please him. So God made David some promises. A while later, John the Baptist was telling people that they needed to be ready to meet God and who he was sending. And Jesus came. He was born, he lived and he did amazing miracles and teaching lots of people how they could be right with God. But the Jewish leaders didn't like Jesus and the things that he was telling them and they got Pilate to kill him on the cross. But he didn't stay dead. Three days later, God made Jesus alive again. And lots of people saw him. They talked with him, chatted with him, saw him. They were all amazed. And then Jesus went to heaven. A little while later, the disciples were waiting in Jerusalem. And the Holy Spirit came to give them power to talk about Jesus to everyone in the world and do amazing miracles. The Jews that, that had been listening loved what they heard and wanted Paul to tell them more the next week. The next week so many people came that the Jewish leaders didn't really like it. So they started causing arguments and eventually got the leaders to get Paul and his friends to leave the city. It's important to remember that God keeps his promises, even if it takes some time. So God had promised to David that one of his family members in the future would be king forever. And we know through the Bible that that person was Jesus. That he will be king forever so we could be friends with God. That we can be forgiven because he loves us and he's made us in to have that right relationship with God. Just like John the Baptist had been saying too. So we need to make sure that we tell everybody else just like Paul was doing on his journey. So for our game today, it's all about thinking what has happened 
and put it in order so that you can explain it to somebody else. So we've got some pictures on the screen and I want you to look at them really carefully and try and work out which picture would come first, which one would be next, and then which one would go at the end. And then I'll show you the page with the answers on so you can see what happened first, next and last in that. So have a good look, see if you can work it out. What order do I need to begin to show that they are making toast? Did you get it right? Did you have them in the same order as this? Well done. Just like Paul was remembering what happened to explain the history of the Jews all the way through to Jesus, we need to remember what happens to and explain it to others. Our craft today is to make a story book. So just like Paul used the stories in the Bible to tell the Jews all about who Jesus was, linking it to things they already knew, we're going to have a go today at making our own storybook so that we can share it with others. So get some paper. I've made a story about how God made the world. Cut up how many pages you want in your story to get through it. And then put it all together with a bow or some ribbon or some string. And then you can share that story with other people, just like Paul was explaining who Jesus was to others. So here's my craft book that I made. This story is about how God made the world. God separated the light from the darkness and it was good and that was day one. On day two he separated the water. He made this water below the sea and the water above the sky and that was good. That's day two. On day three God made the land different to the sea and he also made trees and plants and flowers to grow on the land. That was good. That was day three. On day four he made the lights to go. So the sun for the day and the moon and the stars for night time. That was day four and it was good. On the fifth day, he made the birds to live in the air and all the fish and animals and creatures of the sea. And that was day five, and that was good. On day six, he made man in his own image. And he made the animals. And that was day six, and that was good. And finally, on day seven, God was pleased with everything that he had made and God rested. Time to talk with Jesus. Thank you that you are always with us and you know the past, what's happening now and what will happen in the future. Thank you that you always keep your promises. Help us to listen to you and to share what you're saying with us, with those around us, so that they too can be part of your big family and part of your promises. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for watching Young in Heart. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Bye. Young in Heart.